In physics, angular momentum, rarely moment of momentum or rotational momentum, is the rotational equivalent of linear momentum. It is an important quantity in physics because it is a conserved quantity. The total angular momentum of a system remains constant unless acted on by an external torque. In three dimensions, the angular momentum for a point particle is a pseudo vector r times p, the cross product of the particle's position vector r relative to some origin and its momentum vector p equals mv. This definition can be applied to each point in continua like solids or fluids, or physical fields. Unlike momentum, angular momentum does depend on where the origin is chosen, since the particle's position is measured from it. The angular momentum vector of a point particle is parallel and directly proportional to the angular velocity vector omega of the particle how fast its angular position changes, where the constant of proportionality depends on both the mass of the particle and its distance from origin. For continuous rigid bodies, though, the spin angular velocity ω is proportional but not always parallel to the spin angular momentum of the object, making the constant of proportionality I called the moment of inertia a second rank tensor rather than a scalar. Angular momentum is additive, the total angular momentum of a system is the pseudo vector sum of the angular momenta. For continua or fields one uses integration. The total angular momentum of any rigid body can be split into the sum of two main components, the angular momentum of the center of mass with a mass equal to the total mass about the origin, plus the spin angular momentum of the object about the center of mass. Torque can be defined as the rate of change of angular momentum, analogous to force. The conservation of angular momentum helps explain many observed phenomena, for example the increase in rotational speed of a spinning figure skater as the skater's arms are contracted, the high rotational rates of neutron stars, the Coriolis effect, and precession of tops and gyroscopes. Applications include the gyro compass, control moment gyroscope, inertial guidance systems, reaction wheels, flying disks or frisbees, and Earth's rotation to name a few. In general, conservation does limit the possible motion of a system, but does not uniquely determine what the exact motion is. In quantum mechanics, angular momentum is an operator with quantized eigenvalues. Angular momentum is subject to the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, meaning that at any time, only one component can be measured with definite precision, the other two cannot. Also, the «spin» of elementary particles does not correspond to literal spinning motion. Angular momentum in classical mechanics Definition Scalar — angular momentum in two dimensions Angular momentum is a vector quantity more precisely, a pseudovector that represents the product of a body's rotational inertia and rotational velocity about a particular axis. However, if the particle's trajectory lies in a single plane, it is sufficient to discard the vector nature of angular momentum, and treat it as a scalar more precisely, a pseudoscalar. Angular momentum can be considered a rotational analog of linear momentum. Thus, where linear momentum p is proportional to mass m and linear speed v Display style v p equals m v. Display style p equals m v. Angular momentum l. Display style l is proportional to moment of inertia i. Display style i and angular speed omega. Display style omega l equals I omega display style l equals i omega unlike mass which depends only on amount of matter moment of inertia is also dependent on the position of the axis of rotation and the shape of the matter unlike linear speed which occurs in a straight line angular speed occurs about a center of rotation therefore strictly speaking l display style l should be referred to as the angular momentum relative to that center because I equals R two M display style I equals R caret two M for a single particle and omega equals 
v r display style omega equals frac v r for circular motion angular momentum can be expanded l equals r 2 m v r display style l equals r caret 2 m c d o t frac v r and reduced to l equals r m v display style l equals r m v the product of the radius of rotation r display style r and the linear momentum of the particle p equals m v display style p equals m v where v display style v in this case is the equivalent linear tangential speed at the radius equals r omega display style equals r omega this simple analysis can also apply to non-circular motion if only the component of the motion which is perpendicular to the radius vector is considered in that case l equals r m v display style l equals r m v underscore perp where v equals v sin theta display style v underscore perp equals v sin theta is the perpendicular component of the motion expanding l equals r m v sin theta display style l equals r m v sin theta rearranging l equals r sin theta m v display style l equals r sin theta m v and reducing angular momentum can also be expressed l equals r m v display style l equals r underscore perp m v where r equals r sin theta display style r underscore perp equals r sin theta is the length of the moment arm a line dropped perpendicularly from the origin onto the path of the particle it is this definition length of moment arm times linear momentum to which the term moment of momentum refers topic <laughs> scalar angular momentum from lagrangian mechanics Another approach is to define angular momentum as the conjugate momentum also called canonical momentum of the angular coordinate phi display style phi expressed in the lagrangian of the mechanical system consider a mechanical system with a mass m display style m constrained to move in a circle of radius a display style a in the absence of any external force field the kinetic energy of the system is T equals one two M A two Omega two equals one two M A two Phi two Display style t equals frac 1 2 ma caret 2 omega caret 2 equals frac 1 2 ma caret 2 dot phi caret 2, and the potential energy is u equals zero. Display style u equals zero. Then the Lagrangian is l phi phi equals t minus u equals 1 2 m a 2 phi 2 display style math call l left phi dot phi right equals t u equals frac 1 2 ma caret 2 dot phi caret 2 
the generalized momentum canonically conjugate to the coordinate phi display style phi is defined by p phi equals l phi equals m a 2 phi equals i omega equals l display style p underscore phi equals frac partial math call l partial dot phi equals ma caret 2 dot phi equals i omega equals l topic vector angular momentum in 3 dimensions To completely define angular momentum in three dimensions, it is required to know the angle swept out in unit time, the direction perpendicular to the instantaneous plane of angular displacement, and the sense right or left of the angular velocity, as well as the mass involved. By retaining this vector nature of angular momentum, the general nature of the equations is also retained, and can describe any sort of three-dimensional motion about the center of rotation, circular, linear, or otherwise. In vector notation, the angular momentum of a point particle in motion about the origin is defined as L equals I omega. Display style math bf L equals I bold symbol omega, where I equals r two m. Display style I equals r caret two m is the moment of inertia for a point mass omega equals r times v r 2 display style bold symbol omega equals frac math bf r times math bf v r caret 2 is the angular velocity of the particle about the origin r display style math bf r is the position vector of the particle relative to the origin r equals r display style r equals left vert math bf r right vert v display style math bf v is the linear velocity of the particle relative to the origin and m display style m is the mass of the particle this can be expanded, reduced, and by the rules of vector algebra, rearranged. L equals r two meters r times v r two equals m r times v equals r times m v equals r times p. Display style begin aligned math bf l and equals left r caret two m right left frac math bf r times math bf v r caret 2 right and equals m left math bf r times math bf v right and equals math bf r times m math bf v and equals math bf r times math bf p end aligned which is the cross product of the position vector r display style math bf r and the linear momentum p equals mv display style math bf p equals m math bf v of the particle by the definition of the cross product the l display style math bf l vector is perpendicular to both r display style math bf r and p display style math bf p it is directed perpendicular to the plane of angular displacement as indicated by the right hand rule so that the angular velocity is seen as counter clockwise from the head of the vector Conversely, the L display style math bf L vector defines the plane in which R display style math bf R and P display style math bf P lie. By defining a unit vector u caret display style math bf hat u perpendicular to the plane of angular displacement, a scalar angular speed omega display style omega results where Omega U carrot equals Omega display style Omega math BF hat U equals bold symbol Omega and Omega equals V R display style Omega equals frac V underscore perp R where V display style V underscore perp is the perpendicular component of the motion, as above. 
The two-dimensional scalar equations of the previous section can thus be given direction L equals I omega equals I omega U carrot equals R two M omega U carrot equals R M V U carrot equals R M V U carrot Display style begin aligned math BF L and equals I bold symbol Omega and equals I Omega math BF hat U and equals left R carrot two M right Omega math BF hat U and equals R M V underscore perp math BF hat U and equals R underscore perp M V math BF hat U end aligned and L equals R M V U carrot display style math BF L equals R M V math BF hat U for circular motion where all of the motion is per perpendicular to the radius r display style r topic discussion angular momentum can be described as the rotational analog of linear momentum like linear momentum it involves elements of mass and displacement unlike linear momentum it also involves elements of position and shape many problems in physics involve matter in motion about some certain point in space be it in actual rotation about it or simply moving past it where it is desired to know what effect the moving matter has on the point can it exert energy upon it or perform work about it energy the ability to do work can be stored in matter by setting it in motion a combination of its inertia and its displacement inertia is measured by its mass and displacement by its velocity their product amount of inertia times amount of displacement equals amount of inertia displacement mass times velocity equals momentum m times v equals p display style begin aligned text amount of inertia times text amount of displacement and equals text amount of inertia displacement text mass times text velocity and equals text momentum m times v and equals p end aligned is the matter's momentum Referring this momentum to a central point introduces a complication, the momentum is not applied to the point directly. For instance, a particle of matter at the outer edge of a wheel is, in effect, at the end of a lever of the same length as the wheel's radius, its momentum turning the lever about the center point. This imaginary lever is known as the moment arm. It has the effect of multiplying the momentum's effort in proportion to its length, an effect known as a moment. Hence, the particle's momentum referred to a particular point, moment arm times amount of inertia times amount of displacement equals moment of inertia displacement length times mass times velocity equals moment of momentum r times m times v equals l. Display style begin aligned text moment arm times text amount of inertia times text amount of displacement and equals text moment of inertia displacement text length times text mass times text velocity and equals text moment of momentum r times m times v and equals l end aligned is the angular momentum sometimes called as here the moment of momentum of the particle versus that particular center point the equation l equals r m v display style l equals r m v combines a moment a mass m display style m turning moment arm r display style r with a linear straight line equivalent speed v display style v linear speed referred to the central point is simply the product of the distance r display style r and the angular speed omega display style omega versus the point v equals R omega display style v equals r omega another moment hence angular momentum contains a double moment l equals r m r omega display style l equals r m r omega simplifying slightly l equals r 2 m omega display style l equals r caret 2 m omega the quantity r 
2 m display style r caret 2 m is the particle's moment of inertia sometimes called the second moment of mass it is a measure of rotational inertia because rotational inertia is a part of angular momentum, it necessarily includes all of the complications of moment of inertia, which is calculated by multiplying elementary bits of the mass by the squares of their distances from the center of rotation. Therefore, the total moment of inertia, and the angular momentum, is a complex function of the configuration of the matter about the center of rotation and the orientation of the rotation for the various bits. For a rigid body, for instance a wheel or an asteroid, the orientation of rotation is simply the position of the rotation axis versus the matter of the body. It may or may not pass through the center of mass, or it may lie completely outside of the body. For the same body, angular momentum may take a different value for every possible axis about which rotation may take place. It reaches a minimum when the axis passes through the center of mass, for a collection of objects revolving about a center, for instance all of the bodies of the solar system, the orientations may be somewhat organized, as is the solar system, with most of the body's axes lying close to the system's axis. Their orientations may also be completely random. In brief, the more mass and the farther it is from the center of rotation the longer the moment arm, the greater the moment of inertia, and therefore the greater the angular momentum for a given angular velocity. In many cases the moment of inertia, and hence the angular momentum, can be simplified by I equals k 2 m display style I equals k 2 m where k Display style k is the radius of gyration, the distance from the axis at which the entire mass m display style m may be considered as concentrated. Similarly, for a point mass m display style m, the moment of inertia is defined as i equals r two m. Display style i equals r caret 2 m, where r display style r is the radius of the point mass from the center of rotation, and for any collection of particles m i display style m underscore i as the sum i i i equals i r i 2 m i display style sum underscore i i underscore i equals sum underscore i r underscore i caret 2 m underscore i angular momentum's dependence on position and shape is reflected in its units versus linear momentum kilogram square meter per second nms or js for angular momentum versus kilogram meter per second or ns for linear momentum. Angular momentum's units can be interpreted as torque seconds, work seconds, or energy seconds. An object with angular momentum of ln m s can be reduced to zero rotation all of the energy can be transferred out of it by an angular impulse of ln m s or equivalently, by torque or work of ln m for one second, or energy of l j for one second. The plane perpendicular to the axis of angular momentum and passing through the center of mass is sometimes called the invariable plane, because the direction of the axis remains fixed if only the interactions of the bodies within the system, free from outside influences, are considered. One such plane is the invariable plane of the solar system. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Angular momentum and torque. Newton's second law of motion can be expressed mathematically. F equals m a. Display style math bff equals m math bf a. Or force equals mass times acceleration. The rotational equivalent for point particles is tau equals i alpha plus 2 r p omega display style bold symbol tau equals i bold symbol alpha plus 2 r p underscore bold symbol omega because angular acceleration is the time derivative of angular velocity and because the moment of inertia is m r 2 display style mr caret 2 
For point particles, the above formula is equivalent to tau equals i d omega d t plus d i d t omega display style bold symbol tau equals i frac d bold symbol omega dt plus frac d i dt bold symbol omega rearranging into a form suitable for integration tau equals d i omega d t display style bold symbol tau equals frac d i bold symbol omega d t and tau d t equals d i omega display style bold symbol tau d t equals d i bold symbol omega and integrating with respect to time tau d t equals i omega plus constant display style in bold symbol tau dt equals i bold symbol omega plus text constant therefore a torque acting over time is equivalent to a change in angular momentum known as angular impulse by analogy with impulse which is defined as the change in translational momentum the constant can be interpreted as the initial angular momentum of the body before the torque began to act in particular if torque tau equals 0 display style bold symbol tau equals math bf 0 then angular momentum l equals 0 plus constant display style math bf l equals math bf 0 plus text constant that is, if no torque acts upon a body, then its angular momentum remains constant. Conversely, L equals I omega. Display style math bf L equals I bold symbol omega. Or angular momentum equals moment of inertia times angular velocity, and its time derivative is d L d t equals d i d t omega plus i d omega d t display style frac d math bf l dt equals frac d dt bold symbol omega plus i frac d bold symbol omega dt because the moment of inertia is m r 2 display style mr caret 2 it follows that d i d t equals 2 r p display style frac d dt equals 2 r p underscore and d L D T equals I D Omega D T plus two R P Omega Display style FRAC D Math BF L D T equals I FRAC D bold symbol Omega D T plus two RP underscore bold symbol Omega which, as above, reduces to D L D T equals I alpha plus two R P Omega display style frac d math bf l d t equals i bold symbol alpha plus two r p underscore bold symbol omega. Therefore, the time rate of change of angular momentum about a particular center of rotation is equivalent to applied torque about that center. If angular momentum is constant, d l d t 
equals zero. Display style frac d math bf l dt equals zero, and no torque is applied. Topic: Conservation of angular momentum. A rotational analog of Newton's third law of motion might be written. In a closed system, no torque can be exerted on any matter without the exertion on some other matter of an equal and opposite torque. Hence, angular momentum can be exchanged between objects in a closed system, but total angular momentum before and after an exchange remains constant is conserved. Similarly, a rotational analog of Newton's second law of motion might be a change in angular momentum is proportional to the applied torque and occurs about the same axis as that torque. Since a torque applied over time is equivalent to a change in angular momentum, then if torque is zero, angular momentum is constant. As above, a system with constant angular momentum is a closed system. Therefore, requiring the system to be closed is equivalent to requiring that no external influence, in the form of a torque, acts upon it. A rotational analog of Newton's first law of motion might be written. A body continues in a state of rest or of uniform rotation unless acted by an external torque. Thus with no external influence to act upon it, the original angular momentum of the system is conserved. The conservation of angular momentum is used in analyzing central force motion. If the net force on some body is directed always toward some point, the center, then there is no torque on the body with respect to the center, as all of the force is directed along the radius vector, and none is perpendicular to the radius. Mathematically, torque tau equals r times f equals 0 display style bold symbol tau equals math bf r times math bf f equals math bf 0 because in this case r display style math bf r and f display style math bf f are parallel vectors Therefore, the angular momentum of the body about the center is constant. This is the case with gravitational attraction in the orbits of planets and satellites, where the gravitational force is always directed toward the primary body and orbiting bodies conserve angular momentum by exchanging distance and velocity as they move about the primary. Central force motion is also used in the analysis of the Bohr model of the atom. For a planet, angular momentum is distributed between the spin of the planet and its revolution in its orbit, and these are often exchanged by various mechanisms. The conservation of angular momentum in the Earth–Moon system results in the transfer of angular momentum from Earth to Moon, due to tidal torque the Moon exerts on the Earth. This in turn results in the slowing down of the rotation rate of Earth, at about 65.7 ns per day, and in gradual increase of the radius of Moon's orbit, at about 3.82 cm per year. The conservation of angular momentum explains the angular acceleration of an ice skater as she brings her arms and legs close to the vertical axis of rotation. By bringing part of the mass of her body closer to the axis she decreases her body's moment of inertia. Because angular momentum is the product of moment of inertia and angular velocity, if the angular momentum remains constant is conserved, then the angular velocity rotational speed of the skater must increase. The same phenomenon results in extremely fast spin of compact stars like white dwarfs, neutron stars and black holes when they are formed out of much larger and slower rotating stars. Decrease in the size of an object n times results in increase of its angular velocity by the factor of n2. Conservation is not always a full explanation for the dynamics of a system but is a key constraint. For example, a spinning top is subject to gravitational torque making it lean over and change the angular momentum about the nutation axis, but neglecting friction at the point of spinning contact, it has a conserved angular momentum about its spinning axis, and another about its precession axis. Also, in any planetary system, the planets, stars, comets, and asteroids can all move in numerous complicated ways, but only so that the angular momentum of the system is conserved. Noether's theorem states that every conservation law is associated with a symmetry invariant of the underlying physics. The symmetry associated with conservation of angular momentum is rotational invariance. The fact that the physics of a system is unchanged if it is rotated by any angle about an axis implies that angular momentum is conserved. 
Angular momentum in orbital mechanics In astrodynamics and celestial mechanics, a massless or per unit mass angular momentum is defined h equals r times v display style math bf h equals math bf r times math bf v called specific angular momentum note that l equals m h display style math bf l equals m math bf h mass is often unimportant in orbital mechanics calculations because motion is defined by gravity the primary body of the system is often so much larger than any bodies in motion about it that the smaller bodies have a negligible gravitational effect on it, it is, in effect, stationary. All bodies are apparently attracted by its gravity in the same way, regardless of mass, and therefore all move approximately the same way under the same conditions. <laughs> Solid bodies For a continuous mass distribution with density function ρ r, a differential volume element dV with position vector r within the mass has a mass element dm equals ρ r dV. Therefore, the infinitesimal angular momentum of this element is d L equals r times d m v equals r times rho r d v v equals d v r times rho r v Display style d math bf l equals math bf r times dm math bf v equals math bf r times rho math bf r dv math bf v equals dv math bf r times rho math bf r math bf v. And integrating this differential over the volume of the entire mass gives its total angular momentum l equals v d v r times rho r v display style math bf l equals int underscore v dv math bf r times rho math bf r math bf v in the derivation which follows integrals similar to this can replace the sums for the case of continuous mass topic collection of particles Center of mass For a collection of particles in motion about an arbitrary origin, it is informative to develop the equation of angular momentum by resolving their motion into components about their own center of mass and about the origin. Given m i is the mass of particle i r I display style math bf r underscore i is the position vector of particle i display style i versus the origin v i display style math bf v underscore i is the velocity of particle i display style i versus the origin r Display style math bf r is the position vector of the center of mass versus the origin v. Display style math bf v is the velocity of the center of mass versus the origin r i. Display style math bf r underscore i is the position vector of particle i. Display style i versus the center of mass v i display style math bf v underscore i is the velocity of particle i display style i versus the center of mass the total mass of the particles is simply their sum m equals i m i 
Display style m equals sum underscore i m underscore i. The position vector of the center of mass is defined by m r equals i m i r i. Display style m math bf r equals sum underscore i m underscore i math bf r underscore i. By inspection, r I equals R plus R I display style math bf r underscore I equals math bf r plus math bf r underscore I and V I equals V plus V I Display style math bf v underscore i equals math bf v plus math bf v underscore i. The total angular momentum of the collection of particles is the sum of the angular momentum of each particle. Expanding r i display style math bf r underscore i l equals i r plus R I times M I V I equals I R times M I V I plus R I times M I V I display style begin aligned math B F L and equals sum underscore I left left math B F R plus math B F R underscore I right times M underscore I math B F V underscore I right and equals sum underscore I left math B F R times M underscore I math B F V underscore I plus math B F R underscore I times M underscore I math B F V underscore I right end aligned Expanding vi display style math bf v underscore i l equals i r times m i v plus v i plus r i times m i v plus v i equals i r times m i V plus R times M I V I plus R I times M I V plus R I times M I V I equals I R times M I V plus I R times M I V I plus I R I times M I V plus I R I times M I V I display style begin aligned math B F L and equals sum underscore I left math B F R times M underscore I left math B F V plus math B F V underscore I right plus math B F R underscore I times M underscore I math B F V plus math B F V underscore I right and equals sum underscore I left math B F R times M underscore I math B F V plus math B F R Times m underscore i math bf v underscore i plus math bf r underscore i times m underscore i math bf v plus math bf r underscore i times m underscore i math bf v underscore i right and equals sum underscore i math bf r times m underscore i math bf v plus sum underscore i math bf r times m underscore i math bf v underscore i plus sum underscore i math bf r 
R underscore I times M underscore I Math BF V plus sum underscore I Math BF R underscore I times M underscore I Math BF V underscore I end aligned it can be shown that C sidebar I M I R I equals zero display style sum underscore I M underscore I Math BF R underscore I equals Math BF zero and I M I V I equals zero display style sum underscore I M underscore I Math BF V underscore I equals Math BF zero. Therefore the Seiko N D and third terms vanish L equals I R times M I V plus I R I times M I V I Display style Math BF L equals sum underscore I Math BF R times M underscore I Math BF V plus sum underscore I Math BF R underscore I times M underscore I Math BF V underscore I The first term can be rearranged I R times M I V equals R times I M I V equals R times M V Display style sum underscore I Math BF R times M underscore I Math BF V equals Math BF R times sum underscore I M underscore I Math BF V equals Math BF R times M Math BF V and total angular momentum for the collection of particles is finally the first term is the angular momentum of the center of mass relative to the origin. Similar to single particle, below, it is the angular momentum of one particle of mass m at the center of mass moving with velocity v. The second term is the angular momentum of the particles moving relative to the center of mass, similar to fixed center of mass, below. The result is general. The motion of the particles is not restricted to rotation or revolution about the origin or center of mass. The particles need not be individual masses, but can be elements of a continuous distribution, such as a solid body. Rearranging equation by vector identities, multiplying both terms by 1 and grouping appropriately L equals M R times V plus i m i r i times v i equals r 2 r 2 m r times v plus i r i 2 R I two M I R I times V I equals R two M R Times V R two plus I R I two meters I R I times V I R I two display style begin aligned Math BF L and equals M Math BF R Tim S Math BF V plus sum underscore I left M underscore I left Math BF R underscore I times Math BF V underscore I right right and equals FRAC R carrot two R carrot two M left Math BF R times Math BF V right plus sum underscore I left FRAC R underscore I carrot two R underscore I carrot two M underscore I left Math BF R underscore I times Math BF V under Underscore I right right and equals R carrot two M left FRAC Math BF R times Math BF V R carrot two right plus some underscore I left R underscore I carrot two M underscore I left FRAC Math BF R underscore I times Math BF V underscore I R underscore I carrot two right right end aligned gives the total angular momentum of the system of particles in terms of moment of inertia I display style I and angular velocity 
velocity omega display style bold symbol omega topic simplifications topic single particle in the case of a single particle moving about the arbitrary origin r i equals v i equals zero display style math b f r underscore i equals math b f v underscore i equals math b f zero r equals r display style math b f r equals math b f r v equals v display style math b f v equals math b f v m equals m display style m equals m i r i times m i v i equals 0 display style sum underscore i math bf r underscore i times m underscore i math bf v underscore i equals math bf 0 i i i omega i equals 0 Display style sum underscore i i underscore i bold symbol omega underscore i equals math bf zero. An equations two and three for total angular momentum reduced to l equals r times m v equals i r omega r. Display style math bf l equals math bf r times m math bf v equals i underscore r bold symbol omega underscore r. Topic: Fixed center of mass. For the case of the center of mass fixed in space with respect to the origin, v equals zero. Display style math bf v equals math bf zero r times m v equals zero. Display style math bf r times m math bf v equals math bf zero i r omega r equals zero. Display style i underscore r bold symbol omega underscore r equals math bf zero. And equations two and three for total angular momentum reduced to l equals i r i times m i v i equals i i I Omega I Display style Math BF L equals sum underscore I Math BF R underscore I times M underscore I Math BF V underscore I equals sum underscore I I underscore I bold symbol Omega underscore I Topic Angular momentum modern definition In modern 20th century theoretical physics angular momentum not including any intrinsic angular momentum see below is described using a different formalism instead of a classical pseudo vector In this formalism angular momentum is the two form Noether charge associated with rotational invariance as a result, angular momentum is not conserved for general curved spacetimes, unless it happens to be asymptotically rotationally invariant. In classical mechanics, the angular momentum of a particle can be reinterpreted as a plane element L equals R P displaystyle math BF L equals math BF R wedge math BF P in which the exterior product replaces the cross product times these products have similar characteristics but are non-equivalent. This has the advantage of a clearer geometric interpretation as a plane element, defined from the x and p vectors, and the expression is true in any number of dimensions two or higher. In Cartesian coordinates L equals x p y minus y P x e x e y plus y p z minus z p 
Y E Y E Z plus Z P X minus X P Z E Z E X equals L X Y E X E Y plus L Y Z E Y E Z plus L Z X E Z E X Dis Play style begin aligned math BF L and equals left x p underscore y y p underscore x right math BF E underscore x wedge math BF E underscore y plus left y p underscore z z p underscore y right math BF E underscore y wedge math BF E underscore z plus left z p underscore x x p underscore z right math BF E underscore z wedge math BF E underscore X and equals L underscore X Y Math BF E underscore X wedge Math BF E underscore Y plus L underscore Y Z Math BF E underscore Y wedge Math BF E underscore Z plus L underscore Z X Math BF E underscore Z wedge Math BF E underscore X and aligned or more compactly in index notation L I J equals X I P J minus X J P I display style L underscore I J equals x underscore i p underscore j x underscore j p underscore i. The angular velocity can also be defined as an antisymmetric second-order tensor with components omega i j. The relation between the two antisymmetric tensors is given by the moment of inertia, which must now be a fourth-order tensor. L i j equals i i j k omega k. Display style l underscore i j equals i underscore i j k l omega underscore k l. Again, this equation in l and omega as tensors is true in any number of dimensions. This equation also appears in the geometric algebra formalism, in which L and omega are bivectors, and the moment of inertia is a mapping between them. In relativistic mechanics, the relativistic angular momentum of a particle is expressed as an antisymmetric tensor of second order m alpha beta equals x alpha p beta minus x beta p alpha display style m underscore alpha beta equals x underscore alpha p underscore beta x underscore beta p underscore alpha in the language of four vectors namely the four position x and the four momentum p and absorbs the above l together with the motion of the center of mass of the particle in each of the above cases, for a system of particles, the total angular momentum is just the sum of the individual particle angular momenta, and the center of mass is for the system. <laughs> <laughs> angular momentum in quantum mechanics Angular momentum in quantum mechanics differs in many profound respects from angular momentum in classical mechanics. In relativistic quantum mechanics, it differs even more, in which the above relativistic definition becomes a tensorial operator. Topic: <laughs> Spin, orbital, and total angular momentum. The classical definition of angular momentum is L equals R times p Display style math bf l equals math bf r times math bf p can be carried over to quantum mechanics by reinterpreting r as the quantum position operator and p as the quantum momentum operator. L is then an operator, specifically called the orbital angular momentum operator. The components of the angular momentum operator satisfy the commutation relations of the Lie algebra, so three. Indeed, these operators are precisely the infinitesimal action of the rotation group on the quantum Hilbert space. See also the discussion below of the angular momentum operators as the generators of rotations. 
However, in quantum physics, there is another type of angular momentum, called spin angular momentum, represented by the spin operator S. Almost all elementary particles have spin. Spin is often depicted as a particle literally spinning around an axis, but this is a misleading and inaccurate picture. Spin is an intrinsic property of a particle, unrelated to any sort of motion in space and fundamentally different from orbital angular momentum. All elementary particles have a characteristic spin, for example, electrons have spin 1 half this actually means spin h 2 while photons have spin 1 this actually means spin h finally there is total angular momentum j which combines both the spin and orbital angular momentum of all particles and fields for one particle j equals l plus s conservation of angular momentum applies to j but not to l or s for example the spin orbit interaction allows angular momentum to transfer back and forth between l and s with the total remaining constant electrons and photons need not have integer based values for total angular momentum but can also have fractional values Topic. Quantization In quantum mechanics, angular momentum is quantized, that is, it cannot vary continuously, but only in «quantum leaps» between certain allowed values. For any system, the following restrictions on measurement results apply, where is the reduced Planck constant and n hat n is any Euclidean vector such as x, y, or z. There are additional restrictions as well, see angular momentum operator for details. The reduced Planck constant is tiny by everyday standards, about 10-34 js, and therefore this quantization does not noticeably affect the angular momentum of macroscopic objects. However, it is very important in the microscopic world. For example, the structure of electron shells and subshells in chemistry is significantly affected by the quantization of angular momentum. Quantization of angular momentum was first postulated by Niels Bohr in his Bohr model of the atom and was later predicted by Erwin Schrödinger in his Schrödinger equation. Topic: <laughs> Uncertainty. In the definition L equals R times P display style math BF L equals math BF R times math BF P six operators are involved the position operators R X display style R underscore X R Y display style R underscore Y R Z display style r underscore z and the momentum operators p x display style p underscore x p y display style p underscore y p z display style p underscore z However, the Heisenberg uncertainty principle tells us that it is not possible for all six of these quantities to be known simultaneously with arbitrary precision. Therefore, there are limits to what can be known or measured about a particle's angular momentum. It turns out that the best that one can do is to simultaneously measure both the angular momentum vector's magnitude and its component along one axis. The uncertainty is closely related to the fact that different components of an angular momentum operator do not commute, for example L x L y does not equal L y L x Display style L underscore x L underscore y N E Q L underscore Y L underscore x for the precise commutation relations, see angular momentum operator Topic. Total angular momentum as generator of rotations As mentioned above, orbital angular momentum L is defined as in classical mechanics L equals R times P Display style math BF L equals math BF R times math BF P. 
but total angular momentum J is defined in a different, more basic way. J is defined as the generator of rotations. More specifically, J is defined so that the operator R n caret phi exp minus i phi j n caret display style r hat n phi equiv exp left frac i h bar phi math bf j c d o t hat math bf n right is the rotation operator that takes any system and rotates it by angle phi display style phi about the axis n caret display style hat math bf n the exp in the formula refers to operator exponential to put this the other way around whatever our quantum hilbert space is we expect that the rotation group so 3 will act on it there is then an associated action of the Lie algebra so three of so three. The operators describing the action of so three on our Hilbert space are the total angular momentum operators. The relationship between the angular momentum operator and the rotation operators is the same as the relationship between Lie algebras and Lie groups in mathematics. The close relationship between angular momentum and rotations is reflected in Noether's theorem that proves that angular momentum is conserved whenever the laws of physics are rotationally invariant. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Angular momentum in electrodynamics. When describing the motion of a charged particle in an electromagnetic field, the canonical momentum p derived from the Lagrangian for this system is not gauge invariant. As a consequence, the canonical angular momentum L equals R times P is not gauge invariant either. Instead, the momentum that is physical, the so-called kinetic momentum used throughout this article, is in SI units P equals M V equals P minus E A Display style math bf p equals m math bf v equals math bf p e math bf a, where e is the electric charge of the particle and a the magnetic vector potential of the electromagnetic field. The gauge invariant angular momentum, that is kinetic angular momentum, is given by k equals r times p minus e a. Display style math bf k equals math bf r times math bf p e math bf a. The interplay with quantum mechanics is discussed further in the article on canonical commutation relations. Topic: Angular momentum in optics. In classical Maxwell electrodynamics, the pointing vector is a linear momentum density of electromagnetic field s r t equals e0 c2 e r t times b r t Display style math bf s math bf r t equals epsilon underscore zero c caret two math bf e math bf r t times math bf b math bf r t. The angular momentum density vector L r t display style math bf L math bf r t is given by a vector product. As in classical mechanics, L R T equals R times S R T. Display style math bf L math bf R T equals math bf R times math bf S math bf R T. The above identities are valid locally, i.e., in each space point R. Display style math bf r in a given moment t display style t topic history 
Newton, in the Principia, hinted at angular momentum in his examples of the first law of motion. A top, whose parts by their cohesion are perpetually drawn aside from rectilinear motions, does not cease its rotation, otherwise than as it is retarded by the air. The greater bodies of the planets and comets, meeting with less resistance in more free spaces, preserve their motions both progressive and circular for a much longer time. He did not further investigate angular momentum directly in the Principia. From such kind of reflections also sometimes arise the circular motions of bodies about their own centers. But these are cases which I do not consider in what follows, and it would be too tedious to demonstrate every particular that relates to this subject. However, his geometric proof of the law of areas is an outstanding example of Newton's genius, and indirectly proves angular momentum conservation in the case of a central force. The law of areas Newton's derivation As a planet orbits the Sun, the line between the Sun and the planet sweeps out equal areas in equal intervals of time. This had been known since Kepler expounded his second law of planetary motion. Newton derived a unique geometric proof, and went on to show that the attractive force of the Sun's gravity was the cause of all of Kepler's laws. During the first interval of time, an object is in motion from point A to point B undisturbed, it would continue to point C during the second interval. When the object arrives at B, it receives an impulse directed toward point S. The impulse gives it a small added velocity toward S, such that if this were its only velocity, it would move from B to V during the second interval. By the rules of velocity composition, these two velocities add, and point C is found by construction of parallelogram BCCV. Thus the object's path is deflected by the impulse so that it arrives at point C at the end of the second interval. Because the triangles SBC and SBC have the same base SB and the same height BC or VC, they have the same area. By symmetry, triangle SBC also has the same area as triangle SAB, therefore the object has swept out equal areas SAB and SBC in equal times. At point C, the object receives another impulse toward S, again deflecting its path during the third interval from D to D, thus it continues to E and beyond. The triangles SAB, SBC, SBC, SCD, SCD, SDE, SDE all having the same area. Allowing the time intervals to become ever smaller, the path ABCDE approaches indefinitely close to a continuous curve. Note that because this derivation is geometric, and no specific force is applied, it proves a more general law than Kepler's second law of planetary motion. It shows that the law of areas applies to any central force, attractive or repulsive, continuous or non-continuous, or zero. <laughs> Conservation of angular momentum in the law of areas The proportionality of angular momentum to the area swept out by a moving object can be understood by realizing that the bases of the triangles, that is, the lines from S to the object, are equivalent to the radius r, and that the heights of the triangles are proportional to the perpendicular component of velocity v. Hence, if the area swept per unit time is constant, then by the triangular area formula one half base height, the product base height, and therefore the product r v are constant. If r and the base length are decreased, v and height must increase proportionally. Mass is constant, therefore angular momentum r m v is conserved by this exchange of distance and velocity. In the case of triangle S B C, area is equal to one half S B V C. Wherever C is eventually located due to the impulse applied at B, the product SB VC, and therefore RMV remain constant. Similarly so for each of the triangles. <laughs> After Newton Leonard Euler, Daniel Bernoulli, and Patrick Darcy all understood angular momentum in terms of conservation of aerial velocity, a result of their analysis of Kepler's second law of planetary motion. It is unlikely that they realized the implications for ordinary rotating matter. In 1736, Euler, like Newton, touched on some of the equations of angular momentum in his Mechanica without further developing them. Bernoulli wrote in a 1744 letter of a moment of rotational motion, possibly the first conception of angular momentum as we now understand it. In 1799, Pierre Simon Laplace first realized that a fixed plane was associated with rotation his invariable plane. 
Lewis Poinsett in 1803 began representing rotations as a line segment perpendicular to the rotation, and elaborated on the «conservation of moments». In 1852 Léon Foucault used a gyroscope in an experiment to display the Earth's rotation. William J. M. Rankin's 1858 Manual of Applied Mechanics defined angular momentum in the modern sense for the first time. A line whose length is proportional to the magnitude of the angular momentum, and whose direction is perpendicular to the plane of motion of the body and of the fixed point, and such, that when the motion of the body is viewed from the extremity of the line, the radius vector of the body seems to have right handed rotation. In an 1872 edition of the same book, Rankin stated that. The term angular momentum was introduced by Mr. Hayward", probably referring to R. B. Hayward's article on a direct method of estimating velocities, accelerations, and all similar quantities with respect to axes movable in any manner in space with applications, which was introduced in 1856, and published in 1864. Rankin was mistaken, as numerous publications feature the term starting in the late 18th to early 19th centuries. However, Hayward's article apparently was the first use of the term and the concept seen by much of the English-speaking world. Before this, angular momentum was typically referred to as «momentum of rotation» in English. Topic see also topic Footnotes topic References Cohen Tenauji, Claude, D. I. U., Bernard, Lalo, Franck Quantum Mechanics two volume set ed. John Wiley and Sons. ISBN 978-0-471-56952-7. Condon, E. U., Shortley, G. H. Especially Chapter 3. The Theory of Atomic Spectra. Cambridge University Press. ISBN 978-0-521-09209-8. Edmonds, A. R. Angular Momentum in Quantum Mechanics. Princeton University Press. ISBN 978-0-691-07912-7. Hall, Brian C. Quantum Theory for Mathematicians, Graduate Texts in Mathematics, 267 Springer, ISBN 978-0-387-40122-5. Jackson, John David Classical Electrodynamics 3rd ed. John Wiley & Sons. ISBN 978-0-471-30932-1. Surway, Raymond A., Jewett, John W. Physics for Scientists and Engineers 6th ed. Brooks, Cole. ISBN 978-0-534-40842-8. Thompson, William J. Angular Momentum, An Illustrated Guide to Rotational Symmetries for Physical Systems. Wiley. ISBN 978-0-471-55264-2. Tipler, Paul Physics for Scientists and Engineers, Mechanics, Oscillations and Waves, Thermodynamics W. H. Freeman. ISBN 978-0-7167-0809-4. Feynman R., Leighton R., and Sands M. 19-4 Rotational Kinetic Energy, from the Feynman Lectures on Physics online edition, the Feynman Lectures website, September 2013. External links Conservation of Angular Momentum, a chapter from an online textbook Angular Momentum in a Collision Process – Derivation of the Three-Dimensional Case Angular Momentum and Rolling Motion – More Momentum Theory